Alright guys, so under here is brownies, which you can quite clearly see. Don't know why I have to tell you that, but yeah, I just had a little bit of that. So when I say a little bit, I literally do mean like a sliver on the side, which as I'm on prep and as I'm cutting, you might think, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> but um, I just kind of eyeballed it. I looked up the generic brownie and I weighed out 40 grams is how much I had. Um, and so still on track, but with little temptations like that, Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to the workout commentary and before I got cut off there, what I was about to say was just that the brownie that I ate there, I literally just estimated the um, numbers, the macros off of the generic brownie so uh, you make brownies pretty much all the same way I think my mum used coconut oil or coconut butter or something so that was like the only difference other than that, it was very accurate to just measure it and just take numbers from a generic reading so when it comes to stuff that you can't put into my fitness pal or there's no nutritional information on the back then depending on how you feel how confident you feel about doing that you can always do that that's always a uh, method of counting it anyway with the workout <laughs> uh, I did back and shoulders here the first clips that you would have seen there was some body weight uh, rows so pretty much like a barbell row except you notice that the bars staying stationary and the thing that's moving is me, so rather than rowing the barbell, you're technically rowing yourself. So it's basically just a body weight uh, barbell row. So I did two grips. I did a wide grip, pulling the bar towards my chest. And then I did a supinated grip a little bit closer in for a bit more uh, lat focus row, uh, bringing my elbows closer in towards my torso. Um, I literally just did one set of each as a warm-up for my back workout. Because I find that if I warm up properly like that, rather than just doing a couple of stretches, it actually makes me feel a lot more stronger and just do a lot better mind-to-muscle connection uh, with the exercises I'm doing. After that, I went on to a lat pull-down machine, like a hammer strength one. Um, pretty standard. Actually did pyramid sets here, so I'm trying to retain my strength, but also grow muscle, like train as if I was trying to grow muscle uh, whilst on this cut, so that I can preserve as much muscle as I uh, can like that I already have because when it comes to fat loss you don't want to do it too quick but you also want to make sure that as many of the pounds that's coming off really as much of anything that's coming off is purely fat or I guess water weight as well but you want to avoid dropping muscle mass obviously uh, after that went on to that low row that you would have seen there after that went on to a supinated reverse grip uh, lat pull down again a lot like the warm up that would have been targeting a lot more of the lats uh, due to the hand position, the fact that your elbows and your arms are in front of your body as opposed to the side like you would with the wider grip, lat fall down which would involve a bit more terrace major after that, that was back completed, went on to shoulders, I did seated military press and you would have noticed there that I kind of in stages, I usually sit down, put my feet on the pads I then uh, protract my scapula so my shoulders are forward because we're doing a shoulder movement here, you don't want it retracted um, I then grab the bar with the width that I wanted to do, uh, unrack it and just make sure that your shoulders are staying forward, you're not uh, shrugging them about or anything like that, and also depressing your scapula. So I don't know if you really saw it there, but keeping your shoulders down and forward basically. After that went on to a one arm rear delt flyer, making sure that the cable pulley was about level with my shoulder, uh, maybe just below it to get the best contraction and the best range of motion for the shoulder. Again, keeping your shoulders forward and just moving the shoulder joint back and forth, keeping your arms straight. And the same again, but with a hammer grip on the reverse pec deck. So that was shoulders and back. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the rest of this video. Uh, drop a like down below if you're liking it so far. And I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Another late one at the gym, guys. Just gone 10. Uh, just closing up now, there's a few people left in there. When I started coming here in the evening, I honestly didn't think that I'd like it because I was so used to going at like 11, 10 in the morning, um, at least most of the time. But yeah, I don't know. There's something about coming at night that I just prefer now. It's obviously to do with routine as well, what you're used to. This is now what I'm used to, but yeah, something about like leaving as they close and just like going until they close really. Um, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> Basically saying, if I get there, 
like an hour and a half, two hours to go. And then I just go until closing. I tend to get a lot more, I guess, volume in and a lot more exercise in. And I just feel like I have a better workout. Whereas if, and it's because I've got a time limit, I guess, because if I get there, usually I get there between like 8, 8.30. Since I've been doing cardio, I'm trying to get there a little bit earlier, burning more calories um, overall anyway. Alright guys, so back from the gym, it's almost 11pm right now. Um, and I'm just going to show you a routine that I go through on my work days. So, Monday to Friday, um, the kind of thing that I do every night. So, I go gym between like half 7 and 8 usually. I usually get there about that time. Um, work out for about an hour and a half, two hours. Usually get home, um, like I walk out of there as they're closing. Um, and then when I get back, unless I've already done it, which sometimes I do, do because it makes things a lot easier. I know that when I get home, I'm done. I can just lay in bed, do whatever I want to do. I don't have to worry about this stuff. I will usually do these two things that I'm about to show you. One is what's cooking over there. Um, obviously, I need to have a post-workout meal. That's a priority, having just trained, especially as I'm going to be going to sleep soon. So it's good to have your body fed. Usually, whilst I'm cooking whatever I'm going to eat, I'll be doing these other two things as well. So, first of all is my lunch for work, so tomorrow. So I use Hovis Soft White Thick. I honestly prefer this kind of bread. I feel like wholemeal takes me ages to eat because it's so like chewy and grainy. Um, so yeah, I use that bread. Also, you could make it a thinner slice, like I know they do thin ones or medium ones. Uh, but that's 22 calories per slice and I'm okay with that because uh, I also need a bit of energy uh, during the day so it's just nice to have a decent amount of carbs. I use this uh, olive oil like butter spread. use about 8 grams of that which is just over half a serving. Works out as about 3 grams of fat so not too bad. And then I did use a different brand of ham and I had cheese as well. But I've now changed to this honey roast ham. So I usually use about 3 or 4 slices of that. Probably gonna do four to be honest. So really bland sandwich, but I'm okay with that. I still like it and that's what I have for lunch. So you obviously use the scales for measuring the butter. Uh, other than that, it's just a case of reading the labels on the back for the macros. And then the other thing that I do whilst I'm cooking as well is I make my smoothie for the morning. So it doesn't matter which order I put it all in, but usually I'll put the shaker or the smoothie jug thing up here. And I'll put the spinach in, I'll usually just do like two or three little nuggets. I'll then do 80 grams of the frozen raspberries. I'll do 50 grams of that while I'm cutting and while I'm bulking. I think I'm going to do 100 grams, just got more carbs available to use. Uh, do one serving of that of this protein, which I actually measure out as 29 uh, grams per serving. Um, I then have 5 grams of creatine and... I don't have like one small banana, one medium banana or anything like that. I actually weigh the banana. Um, without the skin and I have 80 grams of that as well and I either throw the rest away because it will literally just be a tiny amount or I'll save it and eat it another day um, and yeah so that's all I have as far as water goes because I mix water with it I literally just have about up to here where my thumb is with 50 grams of oats but if I had more oats like 100 I'd probably to be honest put it right up there it does say max <laughs> on the side there um, but I haven't had any problems with going over that. Where's his little shed? I found him. He's down here. He always lays down here. Guys, <laughs> oh, <that's> meet Lloyd. <laughs> Not sure how old he is, but he's, he's an old little tortoise. Looking after him for a few days. Uh, it's my nans, my, my parents, and my nan, or um, and my uncle actually. They're all off at like a cottage holiday for a few days, so we've got the pleasure of looking after this little guy. <laughs> he's not a lot of trouble, but he's fast for a tourist, uh, faster than you expect. So we're going out now to get some food. So I need to actually put him inside in his box, and he doesn't seem too happy with me carrying him. So I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back from Harvester now, um, haven't eaten since then, that meal was actually huge and filled me up so I have been getting hungry the last couple of hours, or I kind of contradicted myself there didn't I, <laughs> started getting hungry like half an hour ago so I went to Tesco, got some food, couldn't decide what to eat because my macros are a bit messy today, but went, went over my fat and um, had to take some of that away from my carbs, 
but I managed to find one thing I can have and one thing that Jasmine wants to have, so I'm going to have two of these turkey burgers, much better in terms of like fat content to beef burgers. Just going to have just two white rolls, picked up the first ones I saw, so I'm just going to have two of these with that. Also probably going to just chuck some ketchup and onions in there just to make it a little bit nicer. I can't really afford to put cheese on it, but I'm not really fussed to be honest. Um, gonna use the spray oil as per usual to cook it, so none of the like regular olive oil or anything like that. Um, and then gonna have, bear with me, now one scoop of these in one of these, and then I'll bring my macro to be for today. Still have my protein, just a little bit low on the carbs, but that is all good. And then we're also going to be cooking these wonderful little things. Red velvet cake, which we might be able to turn into cupcakes, because I don't know what's cupcakes. <laughs> could have made it from scratch, definitely need a kit for that. How do you even make red velvet cake? Mm -hmm. Where's the red come from? Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to conclude the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like down below if you did. And yeah, I'll we'll see you in episode five, I think the next one is. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.